This video will demonstrate how the approval process works in OnTarget Clinical. The approval process is a very important function for every note type. The supervisor's approval of the note carries three main responsibilities. First, it is the mechanism for putting the supervisor's signature on the note. Secondly, it allows the note to be pulled into billing, and lastly, it allows the note to be pulled into the timesheet for payroll. Every note is assigned to a supervisor, and it is this person that is responsible for approving the note. The only person other than the supervisor that can approve the note is a super user. We will review how the super user works near the end of this video. The supervisor's name auto-populates to the note based on the assignment at the client screen. Under the client's desktop in the identification tab, it is a requirement to assign the client to the respective supervisor. You can control the names that display in this list so that only staff members with appropriate credentials are eligible for selection. This will prevent someone without supervisor capabilities to be able to sign off and approve a note. This is an important control for both billing and payroll purposes. That control is managed through job titles. You will determine the job title that will be tied to the employees who will approve notes. These job titles are then marked as the supervisor and the approver. Job titles are then assigned to the employees under the Employees section in the Demographics tab. Once the job title is assigned to the employee, then that employee name will appear in the supervisor list under Clients. Now, let's review the recommended workflow for approving notes. The dashboard is a great place to start as the unsigned, unapproved notes dashlet will display all of the notes that are assigned to the supervisor and ready to be approved. By default, the dashlet will show all signed notes via the Signed Notes Only checkbox. Only signed notes are eligible for approval. This is a listing of all notes ready to be approved. You can go directly into the note by clicking on the Edit Note icon. The note may be queued on this form or you may prefer to see the DMS version of the note. Once the note has been reviewed for accuracy and compliance, then the note will either be approved or it may need corrections. In the event that corrections are required, you may send a task to the caregiver to notify them of the edits. To learn more about the workflow behind the tasks, see the video titled Managing the Task Feature. To approve the note, click the Process button. If your company is using the Timesheets feature, you will see both Approve for Billing and Approve for Payroll. If your company is not using Timesheets, then you will only see Approve for Billing. Check the boxes accordingly so that the note may then travel the correct path to billing and or payroll. When left unchecked, the note will not move forward to the respective area. When marking the note as approved for billing, this action is also putting the supervisor's signature on the note. If the supervisor's signature is not a required component of the note, there is an option to approve but not sign. That control is managed under Configure, List Configuration, Services, and State Services. When checking the service, uncheck Require Supervisor Signature and Save. That setting is configurable per service.
To finish the approval, enter in your password. This is the same password that you use to log in to the program. When clicking OK, you may be presented with warning messages if anything about the note is out of compliance. These are the same warning messages that the caregiver received when they signed the note and chose to override. You may decide that the note is ineligible for approval until the warning messages are resolved. The system provides warning messages for the following. The caregiver certifications are incomplete or expired. The client's consents are incomplete or expired. There are not enough units left on the service authorization. The time on the note overlaps with another note. And that required fields are missing. If these messages are overridden by clicking the Yes Continue Processing button, then the note will continue to be approved so that it may go into billing and or payroll. By clicking No, Cancel, the note will not be approved and remain in the unapproved state. Once the note is approved, it will no longer display in the dashlet on the dashboard. A new DMS version is created on the DMS tab that shows the final copy of the note with or without the supervisor's signature based on the setting. It is important to note that in the search note grids there are filters that can be used on the left hand side that are very helpful for reporting purposes. You can drill down your list of notes by understanding all notes that are approved for billing, all notes that are unapproved for billing, likewise all notes approved for payroll and all notes unapproved for payroll, as well as all notes with open tasks or notes with no open tasks. Once making one of the selections, your list will automatically be filtered down. Finally, as stated in the beginning, the only other way that a note can be approved is by a super user. In the event that the assigned supervisor is not able to approve the note, then someone with super user status may act as the stand-in supervisor. The super user status is granted through securities. This setting is configurable per role. Once a user is granted super user access, the user can go into super user mode under the notes desktop by going to options and checking super user mode. All notes will then be displayed in the list regardless of who the supervisor is. This allows the super user to get into any note sitting there for approval. Simply double click on the note and approve as we just reviewed for the supervisor. And this completes the workflow for the approval process. Please send any questions regarding this to our support email by going to Options, Support, Contact Support.